Oh wait, I do have his number. <laughs> hey, Edgar. Edgar, my dude. I'm super high right now, so I hope this is going to Oh, hey, Edgar. Glad to hear you're having fun. Larissa. Oh, what are you doing at my work so late? Uh, what are you doing at work so late? I thought you were free at last. Well, tonight, an important night. I wanted to hang around, make sure everything's fine. <laughs> You're just, just not me. <laughs> the dude, Dr. Edgar Coldstream, is super high right now. True, true. Say, why don't you come to my lab and we make sure everything goes smoothly together? <laughs> sure. I may swing by your place later. I love you. Oh, he in love. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to get my hands on that. Well, what you smoking, handsome? <laughs> this is hard to impersonate. Oh, he's still old enough to buy it. Uh, were you calling for something? I'm perfectly. Uh, do you know how many? All right, so we need to know about androids. I need to know everything you can tell me about Red. Let's talk about the androids. By any chance, do you know how many occur of android bots there? Of course I do. They're my children. We're a big family. 256 siblings in total. It's a nice number, huh? Yeah. And they'll all be canceled smart. Haha. <laughs> uh, you're a lucky dad, Edgar. Uh, it's only because I have you to inspire me. Oh, you gotta do your work now. Talk to you later. No, we we gonna call him back and then uh, ask him if you know any other information. Do you know any other information? I'm super high. I'm super high right now. Uh, hi, Larissa. What are you doing? I was just going to work, you know, to do. Say you don't want to come in there, yeah. I come over and love you. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hi. I need to know everything you can tell me about it. Absolutely, my queen. <clears throat> Though, I'm not, like, super friends with her. She treats me a bit rough, to be honest. Ah, oh, poor, poor thing. Ah, oh, poor thing. Uh, don't you worry. It's natural for CEOs to become <clears throat> at some point in or another. Ah, uh, might be that, yeah. But can you tell me about her anyway? Okay, as I said, I'm not too super, in super intimate with uh, Radhika, but I can tell you a couple of things. I guess the most crucial thing to understand about our boss is her upbringing. Mm -hmm. From the early age of three, Rad was taken care of by a team of Akara units, especially designed to stimulate her intelligence and creativity. Can you imagine having a dozen ever caring, infinitely patient team of parents able to answer all the Infinite questions and curious curious kid has doing so with unparalleled eloquence. Rad showed promise as a infant, but but put under the loving guidance of Erker, my finest creation. Well, I think Rad might possess the brightest mind in all history. I can't wait to see her, see where she leads come humanity. Uh, we basically completed. Wow. Was this, that information helpful? Helpful? What? Helpful? Uh, yes, thank you. It was very helpful. Um, well, I'll go back to my drugs then. Time to celebrate. I love you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I'm not lost. Okay. Uh, which folder? It was... 
find out the security code first and input it on the phone to gain uh, access to Agnes profile. The sure question was number of uh, and Larissa's former name. Now Marissa's former name was... Daniel. Daniel. D-N-I-E-L. 256. Get a D. 256. D-A-N. E Yeah, that's definitely not Yeah, that's, def that's definitely not How do they want me to do this? What? Hmm. I need to find out the security code first And input it on the phone to gain access to Edgar's profile. The security question was number of existing Akras plus Larissa's former name. Now, do I not know? I didn't know it. There's 256 Akras. Akras, or whatever. <laughs> and Larissa's former name was Daniel. Daniel. Larissa hasn't talking to talk to these some of these people. So let's talk. Let's talk. Okay. <clears throat> yes. Hello. Larissa for again. Good evening. Um uh, ha ha I forgot. <laughs> Alright. Nine one four. You did it? Uh, still on it? Calling for encouragement, so... There's nothing more for her. Five, 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 zero, two, five. Two, seven, two. Mm -hmm. Hello, Karen. Hello. Hi, oh, Karen. What's up? i Larissa, my woman. Finally got to go out and unwind a little after that. That's pretty. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Hey, our health insurance covered uh your gender cali calibrators in the end, right? Uh, it wasn't right that you were spending such a fortune on it. If you have a problem again, just let me know. Okay. Sure. Thank you. This Karen girl seems to be fond of Larissa. What did you call me, by the way? Uh, I'd like to know more about our CEO personality. Uh, I'd like to know. Yeah. We're preparing an announcement of. It's an invitation to power. And I want to get the tone of the campaign room. I mean, of course, I plan to make her look cool. But I want to start off by giving the press a good impression of 
what vibes to expect from Radica. And I want uh, to be aware of any risky details in case I need to cover for the darker parts of the personality, her personality, if you know what I mean. Haha, <laughs> the media makeup, you always talk about it, right? Atta girl. I haven't worked with Radica side by side, so I don't know uh, much about her personality. But I'm sure that if you call Francis, he'll be able to give you a more accurate description. Uh, they, they've been working together for a long time, overhauling the security protocols for the entire corporation. Oh, that sounds like exactly what I need. Thanks, Karen, you're a lifesaver. Glad to be helped. Uh, let's call Adrian. Wait, Adrian, don't answer. This, this beeps. It hurts. Alright. CTO office, what's wrong? Hello, handsome. It's Larissa. Good, e good evening, my diva. Do you, do you need anything? I need to know about Brad's personality. Whoa, didn't expect that kind of question. Why the interest? Uh, it's nothing personal. I'm per preparing the announcement of her of her thing. And I want to know want to nail the tone of the campaign, you know? Doing my media makeup. Alright, oh, you always worked wonders with the public opinion, haven't you? I mean you saved my life with the with last, last year's scandal. With you know who. Haha. <laughs> That's what I came for. To make us in our work look spotless. So Karen told me you've been working closely with Rad building supercontinent new security system. What can you tell me about her personality? Hmm. If it has genetics her synthesize her aurora, I'll say intense. Pragmatic. Authoritative. Mind reading. Is that a thing? I told you. That girl can see right through anyone. Uh, but most of all, this sounds a bit delusional, but I'll say she's sublime? Sublime? Yeah. I know it sounds lame, but no, no. That's perfect. I'll focus my campaign around that. Thanks, Francis. Um, this guy is a fanboy, but I guess that'll, that'll it'll do. Haha, <laughs> glad to inspire you. Uh, gotta eat to work now. Bye. Okay. What is. Oh, that, that was notes. That was facts. That was. Okay. Hi, Don Bean. Okay, never mind. Do I have her? Don't have rats. <laughs> hmm. Oh, goodness gracious. I don't know. Let's let's x ray. I'm a bit lost. Could you help? Sure, let's sum it up. We need to install Diane's Yes, we do. Mm-hmm. To find the MA. For that you'll need to one, find a way to install programs into supercontinent data stream, yes. Get your hands on Diana's corrupted code, presumably through Edgar's profile. Uh, compile the virus using his viral profile if you want to gather gossip. My suggestion is go for HR every voice you can. Uh, mm -hmm.
I don't have Francis' voice. I need Francis' voice. I shouldn't mess with the CEO for anymore if I don't want to get caught yet. Yeah, it's true. Uh, it's cautious back to the roof. Um. Alright. I need you to find out the security code first and input it on the phone to gain access to Edgar's profile. The security question was number of existence accurate. X, uh, and Lars's formal, formal name. Now. I don't like, oop. There's 256. And am I, like, I can spell, like, the in E L, but like that. E A N E L. All right, so three five. It's not a number, but it's ringing. Two fifty six. This is for my name was Danielle. Two five six. D. Am I? Oh, D A N I E L. Two five six D A. No. Two five six D A N I E L. Access to Dr. Edgar's code stream account granted for Executive Office Number Fifty Six Computer. All right, bye. All right, and then we go zero 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 zero. 56. No. Oh, okay. Two more zeros. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know. Zero, 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 five, six. Um, unlocking straight from office. Zero, 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 five, six. Uh, here we go. We get into it. God. We're getting to it. All right. <laughs> Doctor Edgar Coltrane. Gonna run my data. Gonna run my data thingy thingy. Mm -hmm. Doctor Edgar Coltrane, thirty-seven year old. Well, this guy grades more. Uh, grades more mediocre. Uh, to put in my. Room. I guess not every genius has to fit into the academic rat race, huh? Well, I managed to doct doctorate, doctorate, that's an achievement. Oh, he had his implants done. Uh, done at a uh, supercontinent. We can access his medical file data. Just saw to destroy all humans too, trailer, and they use another. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think I saw that trailer. Yeah. <clears throat> Shame that last night I told a car to recreate Edgar's voice. We could have gotten it from this. Well, well, whatever. Now, what we came for? Let's check the mirror you're on. Uh, algorithm projects. Scratch. Uh, yeah, I do need a scratch. This is 
It's almost seven hours. Oh my gosh. We we gonna finish this game today. I thank you guys for chilling with me, you know? Going through the motions. Uh -huh. We're gonna finish. Or try to finish. I I'm I'm determined to finish. We're already seven already seven hours in. Uh -huh. We got this. How about you guys, Scratch? And, uh, eat some water, you know. Make sure you guys are good. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Alright. Uh, oh my god, I found it. This is hot mess. Deanna, uh, dude, this isn't a buggy version. This is a instrument of chaos. There's no way to, no way saying, uh, to what'll happen to the network if we execute this code. Sounds good to me. Let's try super confident. You're always down for blowing up technology, huh? Electricity is overrated. <laughs> okay, I downloaded the program. We just need to compile it and find a way to upload it to Supercontinent Network. The mirror neuron uh, is a power of time. Uh, let's call her. Nine one four two four four.